I think he's uh, having a hard time with something here. Down at the world's longest beach this morning. Where's that at? Long Beach. You been drinking it all tonight? Yeah, I just cracked one right there. Why don't you uh, sit tight for a second? All right. How about we? Uh... You mean sit tight outside the car? Or you're you're parked here because? You know, we had a family vacation uh -huh. at the world's longest beach. Now I'm driving home to Grandma Betty's house. How much did you drink today? <clears throat> what What's that? Not even half of water. There you're up. So, so what's your master plan here? I'm just trying to get home. No, <clears throat> Grandma Betty is doing no good. Grandma Betty, huh? If he was actually driving this car, he would be under arrest for driving under the influence, obviously. You got to keep on trucking. You know, might take some tests for us? I don't do very good with a test. Why is that? I don't know. I'm a pretty straightforward guy. This address, we've had a lot of problems over there. We've had some weapons calls and some... It usually gets pretty out of hand, so... What's yeah, going on? My brother-in-law attacked him with a stick! No, I didn't. He, I was sitting in the room while y'all fought. Sir, that's all I'm trying to do. And he started screaming, get out of the house. Why are you bleeding? He beat me with the stick. He beat okay. you with a stick. Raving crazy mad, man. He just goes raving crazy and starts going, look at the house how he tore it up, man. So you whacked him with a stick? I had to. Okay. God, he scared me to death like he's going to kill me. They've both been arrested. Why is he going to jail? My brother-in-law attacked him, please. Can't be beating each other with sticks. But my brother-in-law attacked my husband first. Tell me, tell me again. What were, I mean, what was the fight over? He plays this game called Atomic Dove. Atomic Dove? On his phone. On his phone? Yeah. Okay. And that's all he lives for is this game. Is it a phone game? Yeah. Were you fighting about the game? No, no. Oh, okay. No. It's just when you can't get up and get a job, I want him to move out of my house. Billy. Yes, sir. What's going on? Well, actually, sir, no, nothing really was going on. I was sitting in the back room playing my phone game, Atomic Dove. If you look on my web, you'll see I played right up till it happened. And he kind of jealous of that, you know. That he's he, jealous of your phone. Oh yeah, he's jealous of me playing the web. I'm one of the top, top nations in the country. Why are you driving so fast? Going to my place right here. Step by a second. I don't have nothing at all. Okay. My shit. What's in that? Just my handkerchief. All right. I got stuff my nose. Oh, is it? What happened? Give me your hand. What is that? I don't know. Yeah. You got more crack on you? No, sir. That's all you got? Yeah, I don't even do it. It's a, you don't, don't do it? I don't know how it got on me, yeah. You don't know how it got on you? Nope. Got some uh, girl gave that to me. Get it. She put it in my nappy. Usually somebody doesn't have that much that amount of crack on for their personal use. That's yeah, I don't even crack. use it. I okay, well, you don't, don't use it. it so why, why do you have that amount I don't know. For I don't even know how it got in my pocket. This guy's going to be going to jail. He thought he was uh, being cute. Like he's blowing his hanky here and uh, actually blew his crack onto the ground. 134th and the Avenue on King. I have a license plate number's vehicle in front of us. The registered owner is coming back suspended in third degree. So we're going to go ahead and stop and talk to him about that. What's up, man? I'm Hey, uh, what's your name, CIO? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Oh, your driver's license is suspended, man. That's why I stopped you. Yeah. Get out and walk to the side of the car. Why are you sitting down? Stand up. I didn't say sit down. Face your car. You're dumb. Why didn't you go get down? Go down to the courthouse and get a uh, uh, concealed weapons permit. I, I, you can't afford it for sixty dollars. But you know, we don't catch the bright ones. This one was no Einstein with a gun falling out of his pants and drugs in plain sight, sitting here in the dashboard. Hey guys, what do you got? And uh, we got a, a subject. He's on uh, parole, so we got information that he's uh, 
selling methamphetamines out of his house. Okay. Sir. Get that hand oh, back. Oh, hey. Knock it off. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. Oh, man. What'd you dump on me? I don't know what sir. Why are you getting all froggy when my partners are telling you to put your hands up? Keep them away from your what waistband. I am done with these, sir. Oh, there we go. Looky there. Oh, by the way, you're under arrest. He, um, he's on parole. And, uh, he jumped up. He wrapped up a, looks like a stolen gun here. A few, weeks, a few nights ago, one of our businesses here got broken into. Yes, sir. And you happen to have some of the merchandise from that business in your car. Some of the items stolen were work belts, tactical work belts, and that's exactly what we have here. It's even got their uh, name on the box. I've never committed a crime in my life. You're on probation? Yeah. How'd you get on probation? Uh, you volunteer for it? Volunteer. You volunteered to do 12 years probation? Yes, sir. For burglary? Yep. Okay. And I'm supposed to believe that. Well, maybe you'll go ahead and voluntarily uh, admit that you stole this stuff and voluntarily go to jail. We're going to be uh, arriving. A gentleman broke into somebody's house and called the owner of the home. Said he's waiting inside for her to arrive with a... Uh, he's got a shotgun. He's waiting for her to come home, so... He has... He broke in a window up by... There's an apartment above the garage, uh -huh. and he called me from the phone, which is also a line in the house. Right. And then when he saw you guys coming, he left. Is Will home? What did I do? Did you do mm. Oh. You were in her house. Let's her start with that. Her window was open. It I, doesn't matter. You know, okay. Oh you went over. You went over to the house. You called her from her house phone. Told her that you're in waiting in her home with a shotgun. I was there. I sat out there for her house about half an hour and then I saw her window. You know, we, you know what we call that? We call that stalking. Do you, do you even own a shotgun? Huh? Do you even own a shotgun? Yeah, but they're not in my house. Where are they at? They're at my dad's house in North Carolina. <laughs> so did you tell her you had one today? Yeah, I did. You did just try and scare her or what? Yeah, pretty much. It was stupid. It would be a BMA 26 years of age, black hair with all black clothing. He's also wearing a black hat. Any weapons on yourself? I didn't have no gun. No, I didn't say that. Do you have anything on you now? No. Okay. I just want to. I just want to clarify that I didn't have no gun. Where did you find all the credit cards? When I was walking right there. So you found the credit. There just happened to be a robbery over there, and you found credit cards and stuff. And well, it was on the floor. I picked it up. If you see credit cards on the floor, you pick it up too. What exactly happened? I don't speak English very good. Okay. He was asking her for a purse, and he pointed a gun at her. He took what he wanted mostly credit cards and the IDs out of the uh, wallet from the purse, dished everything that he didn't want. That's when I got the call, swung around to the edge of the building, just told him, hey, dude, you want to stop for a second? That's where he started juking, started running, that's where I started chasing after him. Both victims 100% identified you as the suspect, okay? Three, we have another problem. Uh, three, okay? And they saw a gun, they saw you shoot, hold the gun to their, uh, to their person, all right, and then the, the security guard saw you fire the gun. And you have the female victim's credit cards in your possession, hiding in the bushes near the crime. Yeah. The security guard's actually doing a pretty good job keeping up with yeah, him. Yeah, he is, he is. There he is, reaching in his pants. Yep. That's so where he pulls out the Ooh. gun and shoots. See the muzzle flash. Yeah. And, uh, wow, he turns and fires. I mean, he just missed him. I mean, he tried to kill this guy. There's no doubt about it. There's an overwhelming amount of evidence against you. Now we're going to go uh, back, one of our uh, deputies down here on the traffic stop. Okay, nothing illegal on you, sir? No. Uh -uh. Alright. Nothing stuff in your bar or anything no, like that? Uh -uh. Are you, well, you're wearing no. a bra, right? No. Oh, okay. Alright. The reason we're talking right now oh. is because uh, you're, you're lying about your name and date of birth. Okay. Yeah, you are. Okay. I guess I'm going to jail because that's my name. All right, sir, turn around. Thank you. Right. Can you at least get me not wear this? No. Are you transmitting back, sir? You tell us the truth and we can avoid all this. You're not 6'3", you're not 230 pounds, you're not that guy in that photo. I need you to be honest with me. What is your real name? Let me put some clothes on, I'll tell you everything. You have my word that we will give you your clothes. Before we go in the car, right? Absolutely. You might not even be going to jail. Let me ask you this. Why would you lie about your name? 
Do you have warrants? Yeah. Hit and run non-injury traffic collision where a vehicle crashed into a tree and the male driver uh, fled the scene. Amen. He's wearing a blue jacket that says L.A., LA you know, like the L.A. Bad. Dodgers, big letters, L.A. Okay. And he's a Mexican guy. He's got a shaved head. Who's the guy with the uh, L.A. jacket on that I just saw back here? 1932, I'll be out with the suspect. What was that? Excuse me, suspect what? Suspect what? Yeah, you excuse me, suspect what? You do. What you mean, suspect? Did you crash your car down no, here? No, sir, I did not. I got eyewitness that did see you. I don't know what you're talking about. My knee's kind of hurting, sir. Why is your knee hurting? Uh, I heard it earlier today. Did you hurt it when you crashed the car down here? No, sir. And uh, I would say it's not drivable any longer. And then you saw him climb out of the car? And then I saw him climb directly out of the window. Okay. And stumble over here, kind of, and pull up his pants, and then walk out across the street and walk down the street. Yeah, that's him. You know you're under arrest, obviously. Forrest, what are you up to, man? Forrest. I'm not doing anything. I know, but you're hanging in a place you shouldn't be hanging. I'm just asking for some change. Put your head, put your head out. Spit it out. Spit it out. Spit it out. There's nothing in there, I swear to God. I just suck him out your mouth. Immediately you see me, you go straight to your mouth, start chugging the water. Just thirsty? You got a couple down, right? I for your own health, for your own health. I'm serious. How many did you get down? Uh, a couple, but it, it's all right. I've done it before. Okay. You just got to, I wrap, I triple wrap them. It's about 33 or 4. Torn shirt and possibly blood on his face. She scratched your face? No, she didn't scratch. She broke a mirror on my face. Okay. I, 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 she smoked my last cigarette. I told her not to. Is there a reason I'm being arrested when I've been assaulted? We'll get down to that in just a second. Tell him how you busted my jaw, Christopher. Wait. wait. Christopher, go on over here. Where's my boy, Christopher? Okay. Chris, can I get a quick recap of how this whole thing transpired? Oh, it was about a cigarette. All right. Okay. Well, she, what were you guys doing, driving, driving I, home from the park yeah, or something? Yeah, we were driving home from the lake, and it was the last cigarette she was smoking. I gave it to her. She kept flashing it in my face, teasing me with it. So she had it in my face real close. I, I heard it and grabbed it, and then she just snapped real quick, and then grabbed the mirror smack, and smashed me in the face with it. The mirror right here. She pulled now there's the no mirror. There is no mirror now. She pulled it off the window. You're yeah. Saying. I don't know. She must have some uh, strength or something, but it's just some strength. Her. What happened tonight? He came back to get me to throw the cops at me here, so I'd go to jail, and he'd have my house heading to a physical slash verbal fight don't know any more on that we're gonna go check it out and why are we here because she took off all i want is my phone so i can call my mom tell me send me a ticket to go home i can't i can't deal with this no more she beat her dad up yesterday hey. she tried to rip my stereo out of my room she threw a tree at me she threw my tree at me. She picked up my computer monitor and threw it at me. You were inside and they we came, knocked inside. on the door? My husband was like, honey. And I look out my window and that truck tried to run that young lady over. Did she try to run you over with her vehicle? Yes, yeah, she did, officer. I had to run through all of that and all of that. And when I ran through there, then people seen me and I said, can you please call the cops? She's trying to run me over. Okay. I'm scared for my life. What's happened out here? I don't know. This wasn't done before I left. <laughs> then you just went ahead and threw everything out? That's right. I did. Okay. I bought it. She shouldn't have nothing but a mattress on that floor the way that she treats us. Okay. Uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What happened down there? Because there's tire marks everywhere. Because she was running from me. With, I just want my phone to call my mom. So we received a call about two subjects outside fighting. Hey, what happened to your face? We were, we were wrestling. That guy, he is her ex-boyfriend. Okay. This is the current boyfriend. I ain't got no reason to holler at her or them youngins like that. Yeah. So I got tired of it. Right. Because he ain't finna sit there and tell my young, tell my step youngins. I'm like, he gonna bust him in the mouth and all. Or tell my girlfriend, he's gonna slap the out of her. Right. There ain't nobody in this world gonna do that. They all live together in the same house. The kids? are neither of theirs. He's been calling himself stepdaddy. He's been calling himself stepdaddy. So, current boyfriend got mad 
that ex-boyfriend telling the kids what to do. Okay. And that's where everything escalated and they started hitting each other. It gets confusing, okay? So I'd probably look for another living arrangement, okay? We just got a call of a white female in a white tank top supposedly hitting people in the parking lot. She's reportedly drunk. Uh, some eighth grade girl threatened to beat her butt. And I'm like, Brianna, just don't worry about it. She goes, well, mommy, this is... The eighth grade girl was going to get a 27 year old beat my butt. I'm like, what? This was two weeks ago. Okay. I don't come last week. Same thing again. Now this week again. Okay, I'll be there in a minute. Stay that right there. girl right okay. there. Okay, I'll take and care of a minute. looking girl with the yeah. hat backwards. Yeah. And she was punching everybody in the face coming out the door. She says, I'm going to sue you guys. And then she was, as you can see, she was sitting there calling me a and everything. She comes in here belligerent. She causes problems. Usually my husband and myself can take care of it. But this time, it was above and beyond. She broke our office door, she kicked me, she punched my DJ. She, I can give you a number of 15 skate guards and children that she assaulted. She threatened her the first time, and now tonight she hits her. I'm very upset, I want to press charges, and I personally like to beat her myself, but I'm not going to do that. We talked to everybody inside, we got witnesses, we got statements, there's a whole bunch of different stories. We're gonna take you with us, okay? We got a fight call coming from dispatch over here at these apartments over here between a mother and a son. He's, he fell on his own, nobody. Hey guys, oh, everybody over here. She's, she's tagged and everything, I'll go. Yeah. Get, get over here. Get. Jump. Get back. Get him. Now you're going to jail for assault. Damn. I didn't assault nobody. You did, right in front of me. You tackled the dude and got him to the ground. If you, if you think I belong in prison, you going to jail, you're not going to prison. So he fell down or did someone hit him? Nobody hit him. They basically he did all that to himself trying to fight. So he was trying to fight him and he just tripped and fell? Yeah. And that, he's causes, drunk. His, and that causes his head injury? Yeah. You're under arrest for simple assault right now. I need a and for, nobody. And for public intoxication. Okay. All right. I said I love you. Uh, I love you too, man, but right now you're going to come to the seat. Take me to prison. Take me to jail. Just ran the registered owner and it looks like he's got a suspended license, so we're going to stop and talk to him. Hey, Dad, can you come out front? I just got pulled over. He doesn't need to come out front. Why is your license suspended? My license is suspended? Yeah. F*** this. No, f*** that. They're not taking my car. Come on. Stop. No, you don't understand. I'm not going to go back. You really do have a temper on you. I hope I break my face. Don't break your face. Just sit back there and relax, okay? So I'm 100% going to jail. Yeah. Watch your knee. Hello? Sir? I, I'm in my sir? You need, sir, you need to go home right now. Patrick, go home. Let me tell Shut you. The you need to go home. Okay, let's go. Stop, Patrick. I don't need you in jail, too. Call sir, my... you need to go home That's now. Right. What are you doing? Going home. That's what Come I'm doing. On, I'm walking man. away. I... Come on. God, Patrick. Like father, like son. Like father, like son.